Hello guys, welcome back today. Today we're introducing Living Paintings. It's a free library service for children with visual impairment and who are blind. It's tactile materials that are sent and we loan them out for three, three months and then return the goods back. Postage is free, they send them out free and we post them back free of charge. It's a fantastic service and we can take these books into school and show our children with visual impairment and they can feel um, and count and enjoy themselves with these tactile books. So in our pack, as we just started this subscription, we've been sent a pack of counting pictures and this will be so much fun. Let's start. Inside our box we have, let's see, we have Spot Can Count. Ooh, we'll be reading this book soon. And we have a series of pictures, which are tactile pictures, which we also will go through in a short while. These are fantastic for children with visual impairment and to help them count. And then we've got to introduce a book with a CD or or a USB and the book's called Book School First Day at Book School by Sam Lloyd you see here and then we get a little pack of what's included in our and how to use the library service it's absolutely fantastic service that can be used and I recommend those parents that have got children with visual impairment or autism to use this service and to order, order books and you can also use it if you're a teaching assistant or a teacher and take it into school and share these fantastic books with children. Do come back and listen to the books we've received and we will be going through a lot more tactile books that we've, been, or we've ordered and we'll be sharing them on YouTube. Hi guys, today we're going to be reading Spot Can Count. It's an original Lift the Flap book by Eric Hill. Let's get started. Spot can count. Dad, I can count from 1 to 10. Good boy, Spot. See what you can count on the farm. How many mice are behind the sacks? One. Hello. One. How many squirrels are in the tree? Two. Don't count me. One, two. How many horses are in the stable? I know. Three. One, two, three. How many ducks are on the pond? Four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. How many pigs are in the sty? Five. Correct. One, two, three, four, five. How many hens are in the yard? Six. And us chicks. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many rabbits are in the garden? Seven. Only seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many geese are in the orchard? Eight. How about me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many sheep are in the field? That's a lot. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many cows are in the barn? Well done, Spot. How many cows are in the barn? Ten. Well done, Spot. Milking time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is a great interactive book 
that can help your children count. So when we say how many mice are behind the sacks, we know there's only one, one mouse, one. How many squirrels are in the tree? Let your children count these. One, two, two. How many horses are in the stable? Let's see. One, two, three. It's good to feel and touch. How many ducks are on the pond? One, two, three, four. Just imagine touching this and feeling how many we have all together. How many pigs are in the sty? One, two, three, four, five. Correct. How many hens are in the yard? We have one, two, three, four, five and six. And we also have six chicks. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many rabbits are in the garden? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, how many have we got? Mm, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. It's great looking at these and counting them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many geese are in the orchard? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many sheep are in the field? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where's our number nine? Where's our number nine? Oh, let's see. Here he is, number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's count them again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And number nine behind the gate. How many cows are in the barn? Ten. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Milking time. And then we can count our tactile version ones. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Do you want to try counting these? Use our spot and count book together with our tactile version of these images. This is one spot, or it can be dad. We have one spot. And we also have it in braille here. We have two on this card. This is our one. And this is our two. One and two. Here we have some shapes. We have our four here, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. We have a circle, we have an oval, we have a square, a rectangle, a triangle, a diamond and a star. They're all in different colours. And then we have our dots running across. And our straight line, our zigzag line. And our, this is our zigzag line. And also a swirly line. And it's great to follow this and count how many different lines we have. We have a dotted line, one, a straight line, a zigzag line and a swirly line. All together we have 
four different types of lines. Let's go back to our book here. Let's look at all the tactile images and let's see if you can count them. How many mice? One. You count. How many squirrels in the tree? One, two. Oh, you count. How many horses in the stable? One, two, three. Your turn. We have one, two, three. How many ducks are in the pond? One, two, three, four. Let's count them here. One, two, three, four. How many pigs are in the sty? One, two, three, four, five. How many are here? One, two, three, four, five. How many hens are in the yard? One, two, three, four, five, six. And we can find six chicks too. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we've got six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many rabbits are in the garden? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many geese are in the orchard? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many sheep are in the field? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one behind the gate. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fantastic counting. And how many cows are in the barn? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And let's count them here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is a fantastic way to count, especially for those children that are visually impaired. It's a great support to use in class and to order these and to be part of living paintings. We'll be returning these back soon so we can get more books to use and count for our children in school. Thank you for looking and thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe to our channel and support our channel. We really need your support. Thank you very much. See you soon. Everybody, welcome back today. We're going to count our raised tactile images. And let's start counting. One, two, three, four, five. How's another way to count this? Can you try? One, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. That's four. Four, add one, two, three, four all together makes eight. Everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to count our visual tactile image, raised images. Let's start. One, two, three, four, five. Is there another way you can count these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, four pieces there, four quarters. One, two, three, four, add another four. All together makes eight. Well done. Let's start our next sheet. How many do we have here? One, two, three, 
Good. Let's count the next one. Can you try and count these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. How many ducks do we have? Two. Count them. One. Two. How many toothbrushes do we have? Three. Can you touch them and count them? One, two, three. How many bears do we have? Four. Can you touch them and count them? One, two, three, four. And how many stars do we have? Five. Can you touch them and count them? One, two, three, four, five. Well done. How many images on this card? One. Touch it. How many? One. Great. Turn the page. How many have you got on here? One. Touch it and feel it. How many have you got? One. So if we have one here and one here, how many does that make all together? Two. Good job. Well done. How many do we have on this card? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Can you tell me what shapes we've got? A oval, a circle, a square, a rectangle, a triangle, a diamond, and a star. Can you tell me how many sides a square has? A square has four. Four sides. How many does a rectangle have? A rectangle has four sides as well. And so what's the difference between a square and a rectangle? This is equal sides, four equal sides. And a rectangle has two long ones and two short ones. How many does a triangle have? Three. How many does a diamond have? Four. Well done, but it's very different to a square, so they go in a different shape. Well done. Let's go on the next page. What can you see here? That's line one. What's that? Line two, line three and line four. Can you touch them and follow the lines? Next one. Two, three and four. Well done. We have a zigzag. We have a swirl. We have a straight line and we have a dotted line. Well done. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please come back and please subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.